everybody. I decided to go live because it's Wednesday. No, <laughs> this is the first shirt I found that's not in the big pile of giveaway shirts. So um, it's a little harder for me just to like pop on and put on a shirt because, well, it wouldn't be if I dressed like a grown up. However, I put on clothes just for you. I do have sweatpants on and I do have house shoes on. So if you're as underdressed as I am, welcome. If you're a grown up that puts on all your clothes in the morning, <laughs> many kudos to you. So how are you doing, you guys, during this week of in between? Right? I don't you guys can kind of see it's like super rainy. I sent out an email probably about a half an hour ago kind of saying, well, there won't be a, a walk with Max today. And I thought I would kind of come on and make a recipe with you guys. We could talk about some stuff and just chat. I, we're kind of having a lazy day here and uh, the kitchen's doors open. So I don't know if you can hear kind of the cars going through the rain and things like that. Um, Carol is here and welcome. Let me move this over. And then we'll talk a little bit about what I'm going to do. And kind of like I do in Kathy's Cooking Club, we're gonna kind of take a recipe or a concept I had before, and we're gonna recreate it a different way. Um, because it's cheese palooza in Kathy's world. And I just sent um, some information about what I'm gonna do for my live, is it next week or the week after? The first Wednesday of the month for Chef AJ. I think it's, I think it might be next week, but it might, uh, anyhow. So I, there are two cheeses I'm gonna do for, well, I'm gonna do two dips. One is gonna be a goat cheese, obviously vegan, always whole food plant-based. And that's what we're gonna work, start working on at least a version of today. And then at Chef AJ's, I'm gonna do a pizza dip. So I did something similar to that in vegan slow cooking for two. And I've got some new ways to retool it because the more I learn, right, the better I can make things and the more I'm gonna tweak things. Um, let's see what we've got here. <laughs> Debbie says, I'm not a grown up dresser, yay. I thought there might be some other people here with me. Hey, Claudia, it's awesome to see you here. Sandra has sweatpants on too. Power to the sweatpant people. Kitty Mama is here. Divine, I love that you have a morning glory vine as your um, icon. Lydia says, I've been living in sweatpants since the pandemic. Well, what's kind of interesting, and I know I probably gained a pound or two this month, but we'll see, I, it's about time for my weigh in. But these sweatpants actually were too small for me to wear during the pandemic. Cheryl and I had lost some weight in 2019 and she had bought me five of the same pairs of sweatpants because we're of the same animal that if we like a pair of pants, we might as well just get it in all the colors. So while I'm grieving a lot of my favorite clothes going away, I did just get five new pairs of sweatpants that fit great. So, so that's awesome. Hey, Gina. Um, I don't know. There shouldn't be buffering on our side, but um, because we have fancy new um, fiber internet now from AT&T, so it should be faster coming from our side. Uh, I live in my comfy, absolutely. Hey, Monique, good morning to you. It is afternoon to me. Aw, Lisa, that's so sweet. I saw you're about to go live and it made me happy because I knew it would make getting through the rest of the workday a million times easier. Here's a, a secret. That's why I'm hanging out with you today is to make the rest of my workday easier. I've been just kind of head down doing a lot of things, even though I'm supposed to be vacationing at the same time. But sometimes when I'm vacationing, then I'm just catching up on the other work that I should be doing. I don't know, if, I don't know how many of you guys are entrepreneurs or work for yourself, um, 
but that is definitely a danger. We do have a couple of fun things planned and tomorrow, and I told some, some of you who were on my walk yesterday, we're gonna be going to Sip and Santa tomorrow afternoon, which is like this nationwide um, tiki holiday event that happens at a bunch of different bars. If you go to Miracle at Christmas pop-ups, there might be one in your state or even your city. And there is another, there's like the Tiki one, which is Sip, Sipping Santa, and the regular one, which is Miracle. And we might just go and have a little cocktail. They have the cutest, cutest Christmas mugs. And I need to show you guys, I should go, I'll go live and maybe Cheryl and I'll go live from the table because I made like this little Christmas stuff by, um, by the big window that Cheryl was cleaning the other day. And I have all the little holiday tiki glasses and miracle Christmas glasses that I've gathered over the years. Over the pandemic, we did not go out, but I found a place where you could buy a lot of them. And so they shipped them to me. But there's two we're after tomorrow. So keep your fingers crossed. Um, Okay, it looks like a lot of people are getting buffering, but I, okay, Justine said to refresh my page. You guys are better now. Okay, all right. So the internets are the internets and lives. While they are my favorites, they can be the bane of actually happening right the first time. Hey, Marie, it is awesome to see you here. Um... Facebook users excited for vegan goat cheese. And again, if, you, if you're on Facebook, it's just, if you put your, your name in the comment, maybe with um, parentheses or even not, just go dash my name. I will say your name and I'm sorry that I'm not. I'm excited for vegan goat cheese too. Oh, Kelly's working again. again. And Kelly says it's such a different Kelly. Kelly Bulmer is working. Kelly Young says, such a lazy day, dark and rainy. House closed too, but trying to see if I can fit a dog walk in between the raindrops. Um, I just don't think that that's going to happen. Faith and I usually walk on Tuesdays, but we had talked about walking on Wednesday, but I'm like, this is the break. The break is drizzling more than it was yesterday. And she just says, I get my favorites in all colors, too. I'm sure we're special little bunnies for that, but that's okay. Hey, Linda, you're on the road traveling south. I hope you're not getting too much in the rain. Oh, hey, Rill. Good afternoon. Sunny day in Milwaukee. <laughs> I'm never dreaming of a rainy Christmas, which is what we had. It's what we had, too. So, hey, Kathy and Justine. And Sandra says, rainy weather here today, looking at seed catalogs. I'm trying not to do that, but I want to very much. Um, and getting overwhelmed with all the amazing things to grow. I have just um, a deck container. Con I, have a, I have quite a few containers for my deck garden, unless it sounds like I have three pots of things. I have, have a lot of room but I got to see what I'm going to do for sure. Um, hey, Leanne, it's awesome. Uh, Leanne, I, I read the apostrophe S because I couldn't help myself. And Marie says it's raining here in Southern Oregon, beat snow. Jill says it's warm and sunny in Southern California. You have to live all of our best lives today, just so you know. Um, Justine says, will this mimic the flavor of goat cheese or the texture or both. We are about to find out because I'm going to tell you about my old recipe and we're going to scrap it completely and start again because what's the fun in doing the same thing over and over again? Also, this book is, let's see, is this book from 2011? Let's find out. 2013 is when it was published. So that means I was working on it end of 2011, 2013. The Great Vegan Bean Book, and some of you guys may have it. And I'll show you from the top. Let me move some of my things out. And this is um, this is the lovely goat cheese <laughs> that is the almond cheese spread, the faux goat cheese. And one of the things that the last two things I gave up going from vegetarian to vegan were goat cheese and Greek yogurt. 
and I haven't really found quite the same thing. Now, it will be easier to mimic the texture in general with nuts. And in the old recipe, I used white beans, almonds, and macadamia nuts. Oh, and I'm gonna get, I think I have a lemon over here. Oh, if I don't, actually in my bar kit, I got a little squeeze bottle of lemon juice, so we'll use that. I have some tools around. <laughs> I'm gonna have some lactic acid. I've got some lemon juice, some nutritional yeast, which we will use very little of. I was also thinking if it's, I'm kind of wanting to make a log. I've not made this at all. So like you are recipe developing with me. You're hanging out in my kitchen while I do this. It's possible this could fail. But I am confident 99% of the time, if I go to start one thing, I can pivot and it might turn into something else. But this is some everything bagel seasoning. So I thought if it will log, we could roll it in that and that would look really kind of cool. Um, I'm still gonna use the beans because that's gonna give it a nice consistency, a good base thickness. I still have some pulps. I have okara, which is soy milk pulp, and I have some almond pulp. So we might even try, we'll see. We might try more than one. We'll see how, it, how everything's going the first time. Last time, the most important thing, honestly, was apple cider vinegar. You, could you use white vinegar? Yes. Could you use balsamic? You could use a white balsamic, but I'm not sure I'd go much further than that. Um, you could probably use some rice vinegar. You just want to get, I like apple cider vinegar because it usually is fermented really well and has a lot of tang. And goat cheese has tang and tartness and almost a dry taste to it. Um, and Lydia says she has the, Lydia and Kelly have the ve great vegan bean book. Let's see, let me go back here. Oh, Raven, it's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you got my email. Uh, rainy and chilly today, so I'm wearing my new cotton candy colored comfy. Yes, yes, on the alliteration, and wearing a big cozy, anything. And I have the door open, and I don't even have a jacket on. I could have a little jacket, but... It's a little too warm for December. Um, it's bright and sunny in Northeast Texas. Oh, hey Jane, how is it in Winston? I get my favorites in all colors as well and then they stop making them. Yes, they do, all the time. I think if I like a product, that must be the kiss of death. I just think they change so fast and, and uh, excuse me for any of the men who may be watching, but bras, bras are the worst. You find a bra you like, get like enough to last 10 to 15 years. That's how I feel. <laughs> because I, was, I had even done that. There was one place I was getting the same bra and they redesigned the bra. And so it never worked again. So I had to find another store. And I don't think they make the bras that, that I use now. So I'm just holding on <laughs> until I have to go find another one. Um, Linda's traveling from Tennessee to Florida. Diane, it's 59 degrees and cloudy in Phoenix. That's, that's, not, um, that's not too terribly cold for Phoenix around this time. I'm trying to remember, it's been so long since I lived there, but I remember I needed a winter coat for a period of time. It might have been in January, February though. Hey, Katie, welcome. Um, Katie's interested to see how I'm gonna make this faux goat cheese. So am I. <laughs> and it's, uh, uh, you know what? It's all good. And I've, I've been making a lot of different kinds of cheeses too. And if you're on the uh, mailing list, I, I keep trying to put out the big list of vegan cheeses. I am getting some more up there. It's just, you know, I'm supposed to be vacationing too. So that's what's going on. Oh, wow, Jennifer has blizzard conditions in Colorado. Oh, today it's balmy. It was blizzard yesterday, balmy today. Oh, good. I, I'm glad that everything um, is doing well. Let's see, Patsy from Nevada is here. Justine pulled my bean book out, ready to make changes. Oh, it's gonna get tossed. 
<laughs> that recipe is getting tossed. It's a great recipe though. It's just um, with us doing the starch solution, it has a cup of almonds and a quarter cup of macadamia nuts. So it's, it's, I'll have to go look back at the pub cheese recipe. I know the pub cheese recipe is real cashew heavy as well, but it's still one of the pub, re pub cheese recipes that doesn't have any coconut oil. Like if you get Miyoko's at the store, it has coconut oil in it. Um, yeah, Marie says, I think it would be difficult to get that dry texture and we'll see how it works. It works well when you add nuts in there. We're not gonna get that exact texture because we are using beans as a binder, but we'll look at, we'll look at the okara I have, which is, one of them is quite dry. And actually, I probably need to um, get some measuring cups. <laughs> that would be a plus, wouldn't it? Let's just grab these. And that way I'll have everything we might need, supposedly. We'll kick these guys over here. But you could do it like if you did like um, cashew powder with a few other things. There's some ways you can do it, but it is going to be much more d difficult. Jane says it's drizzling in Winston and cooling down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and she's with me on the bras. Hey, JM, welcome. And Justine wears her bras till they're threadbare. I'm like, that's why you have multiple um, hooks in the back. It's not if you're bigger or smaller, it's for as you wear it and it stretches out. <laughs> Marie says, Kathy, is it possible for you to log into the class member website and go through what you get and kind of what you expect? Yes, we can do that too, for sure. Um, and she's into signing up and we'll, t I'll mention this a little bit too, but how you can cancel right from what, if you log in and you go to your account, you can cancel your recurring membership all by yourself. You just want to make sure you cancel it before the due date because it'll charge you and, and it's worth, the charging isn't me. I don't manually do that. It goes through Stripe and PayPal and if you sign up in the middle of the night, it might charge you in the middle of the night I don't know none of that's handled personally by me um, but yeah you just log in and there you go um, real says I've been I have the bean book from Apple books oh good it's easy for you to read that makes me really happy and Dilla is here welcome a warmer day in Albuquerque so I think I'm gonna make the cheese first and then we can kind of hang out and look at Kathy's Cooking Club. Also, probably tomorrow, if nothing else, or later tonight, I can come back on and we can do just Kathy's Cooking Club. But basically, you log in. Well, I'm trying to decide what's going to be the shortest. Is there a short, easy answer? But let me, let me come in and see if I log in. Because... When you log in, you log in to thrive, kathyhester.thrivecart.com slash lowercase l slash. That's not my doing. It's just the way it is. Let's see. Because I haven't made a prop. No, let's see if. Okay, cool. I can show you this a little bit. This is not going to show you everything by any means. And actually, let's also go and take my face off of there. Let's, um, options, we will not show picture in picture. So once you log in, what happens is you see your classes. And so do you see how this one's in color? So I just signed in under Cheryl's account. Um, I gave you this information so you can bookmark this and you can update your, it gives you a link right there to go and update your information. I do not hide how you can update your credit card address or cancel a subscription. I want you to be in it because you want to be here. Also know that if you're in Kathy's Cooking Club and you've even accidentally marked an email for me as spam that came from my email service, 
you won't get any reminders about classes. So if you aren't getting reminders about, there, there is not reminders for January classes yet. But if you haven't gotten reminders in the past, email support at healthyslowcooking.com. So I don't, there are over a hundred classes in Kathy's Cooking Club. So I don't have sales pages for all of them. If there were, there'd be a hundred. And eventually maybe one day there will be. There'll at least be a lot more than this. So this means this person has the Ninja Creamy ebook, but not the Ninja Creamy experience. So if you went here to learn more, you go to the sales page and you could buy it. The Ninja Creamy experience is not, or the ebook is not, these ebooks are not included with Kathy's Cooking Club. You may see some bundles. Any bundles in here at this moment are bundles of past classes. So if you're a member of Kathy's Cooking Club, you already have them. Kathy's Cooking Club, um, this again will take you to the sales page and give you the information about the class. Let's see, like, every once in a while I'll be like, let's, let's do this class, right? Oh, a piece of tree just fell down really loud. I don't know if you guys heard that. It wasn't like breaking anything. But let's say, okay, the pumpkin cooking class. Usually our single class is gonna look like this give just a little information, tell you some stuff about it. Sometimes there's a bump or you could get another class on sale as well, but you have to click that to get it. So see, the pumpkin class is $35 because it's not on sale. You could get that sale class and then there's that. And you could continue on. When you're a member of Kathy's Cooking Club, you see all the classes, and they will be in color like this. But that'll give you at least a little bit of um, kind of to do. And Marie, I hope that answers your question. Um, so why are we even talking about Kathy's Cooking Club? Because I'm doing the last biggest sale ever. It's never going to be at $25 a month again. Um, so, so I'm trying to get everybody, <laughs> come on in, the water's fine. Um, and what Kathy's Cooking Club is, is it's a collection of over 100 past classes with PDFs, with recipes, for most of them. Sometimes we'll do things like make tofu. So there might be notes more than, you know, a recipe. Or we did a dehydrator class that I'm still putting together some notes on because there weren't actually recipe recipes and if you're using a Excalibur dehydrator versus the Breville the timings will be different so it's more about you're going to dehydrate this until you see this and this and this things like that um, you don't have to watch all the old classes however I in the past there's some really good ones like how to make tofu how to make tempeh um, so, and let me be clear, so there's one side of the world where we make tofu and we make tempeh, and then there's the other side of the cooking class world where we are too tired to cook, so we make really simple recipes. This year I'm gonna be doing another class that's a can of beans. All the recipes start with a can of beans. You make your own beans and you're not into the canned beans, that's one and a half cups of cooked or frozen beans for you. So if you're new and you're like, all that stuff sounds like too much, or maybe you're really busy and you can't possibly make your own tofu and you're not interested in it, that's okay. Every recipe in the club doesn't call for a homemade tofu. But if you decided, I don't know, like maybe this week, if you had some time off and you're like, I wanna try that, you could just go and find it. Or maybe you take your vacation February 17th. You can go back to any of the previous classes and find some good things. We have dry mixes. We have oil-free sauces. All the recipes are whole food plant-based, no oil. Not all the recipes are SOS, meaning no salt, no sugar, but 85 to 95% I give you salt-free options and sh differently sweetened options. So dates, date paste, date syrup 
is probably as far as we go. Sometimes applesauce if we're looking at a creamy pint. Um, I do, depending on who's in the club at, the, at any given time, like Marilyn is allergic to corn, so I give her corn options. If you are allergic to tomatoes, and we've had people in, we'll give tomato options as well. Uh, the classes, ha the live classes get filmed tw twice a month. And that's why I have a hundred of them now. <laughs> it didn't start out like this. So they've all been filmed live. Um, you don't have to attend live though. You can totally, like if I had class now and you were busy, you can watch that class tomorrow. And, you, and usually you can watch the class as soon as it's done. The recipes are usually done anywhere from two days to four days later, because typically, this is not all the time, but it's more than half the time, I'm doing like I am today, and we're learning how to make recipes together so that you can take a recipe you like the idea of it, but the flavor isn't quite perfect for you, and you can tweak it. So we do, there's a lot of beyond a written, how to follow a written recipe, how to learn how to taste, smell, and really trust yourself in making some of these things. Um, so that's kind of part of what we do. It, when you're a member of Kathy's Cooking Club, you do get to request some classes. And if I can at all, like I've done classes I was uncomfortable doing. I just went out, you know, if everybody asks me for a cuisine I don't know, we can't do 24 of those in 24. <laughs> but we could do a couple of them. So like Korean food was not my forte. So I did a lot of research into Korean food and we did do a Korean food class. Um, last year and I think it went pretty well so there are things like that so everything this month not this it's not January yet I'm just very confused for January we're gonna do two things one regular and one new and I'm trying to decide if we're gonna do this if the experiment goes well we'll do this once a quarter so in January we're gonna do our third vegan cheese class so I'm gonna bring in some more recipes, not the ones that you've been getting in the email, though we may base some different flavor changes on some of those. Then we are going to do a Mary's Mini. And those of you who are at Dr. McDougall um, familiar, that is just a really nice way to reset your palate, reset your focus and your mind, because I know a lot of us are doing this for health benefits and are releasing some weight. And we have been eating off plan too much the past couple of weeks because we've had events to go to and things like that. So I want to do a potato Mary's Mini. So in Mary's Mini, you pick one starch and you eat it three times a day. But you get to change up your veggies, you get to have sauces. And I thought it would be, I, I talked to the membership and they thought it would be pretty helpful to go through that. I'm still planning what that looks like, but I think for, I think we're probably instead of 10 days, gonna do it for seven days with maybe three days on your own. And we will probably either have a have our normal class broken up into an hour a couple of different times so it'll be a few different classes totally new totally exciting and um i can tell you right now mashed potatoes baked potatoes shredded potatoes breakfast potatoes potato soup we're gonna and plus i'm gonna do some new sauces um, so that we can have some tasty things and we'll get to all do that together also with part of Kathy's Cooking Club because it's such a great community. Like you guys are an awesome community. It's just a subset of this community. And you see people who are in Kathy's Cooking Club all the time in these live conversations. Um, so we also have like, you know, I have the free heartbeat group. And if you look down there in the description, come join, it's awesome. And I let you know when lives, impromptu lives like this are happening. And sometimes I'll post up a recipe and things there as well. But we also have a special section that's private for Kathy's Cooking Club members. And what I wanna work on in 2024 is really getting that going a little bit more. Like we've, we've 
dipped our toes in and now more communication is going to happen there. You guys will be able to talk, post pictures of the things that you make. And I think it's just going to be really, really fun. And also we can meet in person over there. So that's something we might try as well. So hopefully that helps. If you have more questions, I will look through here and see if I've missed anything. But again, the reason I'm, I'm talking about is that this is a, the best sale that you're going to get. So if you've been hesitating, just get it because the price is going to go up. And this is half price sale, which almost never happens anyhow. You can even, so it's $25 a month instead of $50 a month while the sale is going on only. And you can even use that for buying a year. So when you buy a year, pay for a year in advance, you get two months for free. So it's usually $500 a year and you can get it for $250. So if you are someone who wants to join in, maybe you have some financial difficulties, maybe you're on really strict social security or something like that, email support at healthyslowcooking.com. But you have to email me with these two things <laughs> to be considered for a partial scholarship. We have a few, we, we have a few scholarships. So with the scholarship, I just need to know why you need it. And we don't share that information with anyone. It just lets us know. It, it helps us understand because I'm sure you would never try and do anything untowardly, but some people will. So if we just know why, it helps us. And then how much you can afford per month because I can't, I can't guess, right? I can barely guess how much I can afford per month for things. So if you give us those, send it to support at healthyslowcooking.com, we will get you hooked up in our scholarship program. Now, everybody who pays more helps support the scholarship program. How, and so that is also why this is the last time it's gonna be $25 a month. Um, it's not that there won't ever be any sale, but it's not going to be $25 a month after this one is over. So if you've been waffling, you can join month per month, cancel when you want. You could join for a year and then it's way cheaper. And oh, the other thing is, so you're like, I'm getting this for sale. So let's say you get per month per month or the year. What happens when it renews? Does it magically go back up? No, you're locked in to $25 a month or $250 a year as long as you're a member. If you leave and then you come back, you have to pay whatever the price is then. And this is the lowest it's ever been. Okay, and I'll look and see. Hey Sherry, it's awesome to see you here. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, sorry guys. Um, Kelly says, thanks for showing the cooking club. I'm interested in joining but wanting to know more. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you um, for hanging out. Marie's in the cooking club and says it's so worth it. I think it's a really great value. So you get at least four recipes each class. Sometimes, like I think with the um, mason jar soup gift class, I think we had seven or eight. So sometimes I'm very creative and we just keep going. And the classes are usually two to three hours long. Every once in a while, it end in an hour and a half. Every once in a while, it'll go over three hours. You, you can watch it later. It's okay if you can't stay for the whole time. Um, hey, Judy. Ah, and this is great. Diana says, are the cooking classes live? Yes, they're always filmed live. So we go live. And whoever can be there live with me gets to ask questions, sometimes we interact a lot, just like these lives. I'm always looking at the comments, always talking back and forth. Um, then those replays. So the 100 past classes are live classes that were recorded. This year we've experimented with, with me pre-recording certain recipes, but the class is still then live and I just pull over the recorded recipe. So that way we've been able to do slow cooker classes. We'd be able to do more things that are fermented or just take longer. And I think that's been a real win for everybody because we've, we've been able to branch out what we're doing. 
Yes, my cooking class membership is on sale. And if you look down below, the very first thing in the description is my cooking class membership. Kathy's Cooking Club is on sale for $25 a month or $250 a year. Um, and Lynn says the club is awesome. I've learned so much. Oh, it's an incredible bargain. It has everything worth every penny. Yeah, if you guys who are in the club are willing to share some of the things that you like about the club, that'd be great. That would be super helpful. And then I don't, because honestly, I always feel weird talking about it. I just want everyone to come hang out. Um, but I also have to pay my mortgage and I have to buy the groceries and pay for the beast and, and things like that. So, um, but within that sphere, again, if you're in a point in your life that it's not an option for you, $25 is unobtainable for you, email support at healthyslowcooking.com. And then Depending on your circumstances, if they change, then maybe one day you'll be the person sponsoring another person's scholarship by paying full price, right? See how it all works out? So I'm a big believer in it all works out. The more that we get to grow the community, hang out together, learn things together, the better it is for all of us, right? And the one thing I will say is I love our community. I love our free community that we're hanging out with now, and I love the cooking club community as well. It's very nice, supportive individuals. Marie's watching some of the past cooking club classes. Oh, that's great. Linda has more time now that she's retired. In fact, Diana, there's not a coupon code, but if you look in, down there and click um, in the description, that link brings the coupon code over and it just makes it easier for everyone. Because if not, then you have to have the specific link to the sales page to put the code in. So just using that code makes it a lot easier. Um, if Cheryl is on her computer, maybe she'll put it in the live. I would have to find it, but it, I can do that too. Yeah, Korean food is fun. Um, yeah, the last one I sent you. I'm just say say what it is. Cheryl's gonna pop it in the in the the chat in here in a bit. It may take a minute. Um, Lynn said the taste smell modify tips are fantastic. I've never been able to do that. I'm now having success with adapting it to my needs and taste preferences. I would say 80% of the things that go wrong are because people don't trust themselves and. We do this in the lives too, smelling, to, if you have a big pot of chili or stew and you're like, should I put some of this in there? Open it up, hold the two together, smell it in one smell. Or if that doesn't work for you or you have a cold, put a little bit of soup on and put a little bit of that on. You'll know if it's a yuck or a yum. You will. So yeah, we talk about that. Okay. And Recipes vary per class, but there are typically at least four recipes. Um, <laughs> we're all about kindness here. Um, and yeah, because the thing is, is losing weight, I don't want to be finding it again. So, uh, <laughs> but also I think sometimes for me, and, and this, is, this is my touchy-feely time of the year where I'm like starting to think about the new year and what my goals are in all different places. But it is the time to get in touch with things and what things, not only do you want to add to your life in 2024, but what things do you want to let go of? What things are you holding on to that hold you back? And one instance could be having carrying too much weight or maybe spending time with people who don't lift you up. There's a whole bunch of different things. So I'm in that spot. Um, oh yeah, Mary's Mini can be so many different things, Tracy Reese. You can, it can be sweet potatoes. Oh, I think you have to pick sweet potatoes or white potatoes. These aren't my rules. But I tell you what, if you ate sweet potatoes and white potatoes for 10 days with vegetables, I think you'd be doing a good service to yourself anyhow. 
Um, and it's okay to say, I would, what I would say is, I'm doing a modified Mary's Mini. Oh, and I think I have, <laughs> I think I have some everything seasoning in between my teeth. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was like, why am I tasting garlic? Um, okay. Yeah, a lot of times it averages at five. It depends. If I find that classes are going too far over, four is really the best number, especially since I am impulsive and often add recipes because I started thinking about something else. But yeah, I would say don't expect more than four. Be excited when it's five and sometimes there'll be eight. You know, if I'm doing spice blends or things that go quicker, I do put more recipes in there. I'm, I really actually overwork and overthink it sometimes. So sometimes things are too long, which is why four is my new goal. And it was my goal all year. And I still went over a lot. Let's see what else. Oh, and Carol said she signed up when it was on sale. And I did do a sale for 25 earlier this month as well. But this is the last one. Um, it's more than worth it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Evan. I was trying to go through all my t-shirts because some of them, I, I'm having to get new t-shirts. And then I remembered it is Wednesday. So that made me happy. Um, let's see. Marie says, if you think you know how to cook and don't need this, I graduated from Le Cordon Bleu in Portland. <gasps> I did not know that. Now I'm going to be nervous. I find it inspiring and worth jo joining. And I'm just me. I'm self-taught. I am get a little bit obsessive when I'm trying to learn how to do things. And I love teaching people. And that's all I can say. So I do feel like if you're new and you're like, I'm not really sure what to do with this potato. Or if you're like, I can't decide from the 70,000 ways I can make this potato, a class fits both of those, right? And if you're a more experienced cook, you can also offer some of your um, knowledge and support and help to some of the newer people. But in general, the recipes are totally doable. There sometimes in some classes I will pull out whatever ingredient I'm obsessed with at the moment. But I try to keep that to a minimum so we're not just going to ethnic markets and ordering a lot of supplies all the time. And I do tend to reuse those that we do get. And hey, Davika, it's good to see you here. Um, Liz says the cooking class is wonderful. Kathy answers questions and helps with any food allergies, preferences, likes, dislikes. Oh. I appreciate that, that you're enjoying it so much. And Justine, per year, I do two a month, times 12 is 24, 24 classes. Though this year, and, and not as though we're not gonna do 24, so like with this Mary's Mini, it may be two to three smaller classes over that week. It's, I don't know how that's gonna look yet. We're gonna experiment and see what seems good. If it works well, because I was thinking doing something like a Mary's Mini once a quarter, if it works well, would do great because we could do corn in the summer and we could do, you know, sweet potatoes. We could do rice and just kind of get some different things and get a whole lot of um, easy recipes prepped for that period of time. And it would be a good way for us all to kind of like reset and kind of, you know, recommit to our whole food, plant-based, no oil journey. And um, Cheryl's got the link over in the chat. If you're watching the replay, <laughs> go down in the description. The link is at the top. Um, when is the fit? I'm saying January 2nd but it may go a couple days after that. So, oh, Linda, welcome. She just came into the cooking club. Yay, I'm so excited. And the kitchen is my art studio. I feel exactly the same way, exactly. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, good. Diana's going to come hang out with us, too. That's awesome. <laughs> Marie, so, so in the cooking club, they know, because sometimes I'll be like, y'all, I've made myself really nervous about this class. <laughs> because I will. So Marie's telling me, don't be nervous and stop making yourself crazy and overthinking everything. Because that is, you know, that is something that would be awesome. Any, any pieces of those would be awesome for me to release this year. And the reason I get nervous is that I always want to do the best that I can. Like, but it's also, I get nervous like that, but I'm making a whole new recipe right now. Let's just go. So I have both sides of those to me. Hey, Marilyn. We were talking about Kathy's Cooking Club a little bit because it's on sale. Um, let's see. Ronnie's saying, I, um, if you pay monthly for Kathy's Cooking Club and want to change the yearly, how do you do that? Go ahead and email Cheryl at support at healthyslowcooking.com. She will look at your account and tell you exactly what you need to do. It usually involves you canceling and then signing back up because it's this I, I pay for a platform for the course so I, there's only so much I can do within that so Ronnie go ahead and email Cheryl again at support at healthyslowcooking.com um, no Justine our live class is typically on the same day uh, each time no I no and sort of so last year I was doing them often kind of alternating Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursday night at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The end of the year I tried some 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm not, I'm just not as good in the evening. But also I know I'm on the East Coast and everybody else is on, you know, a different, different time zones except for those of you who are with me, obviously. Um, so sometimes I will experiment with that and see what works best. So it has to be a combination of when my brain works best and what works. But again, all classes are recorded and can be watched. So um, I do try, I have been trying this past year and I, I'm gonna send out a little survey or, or some questions to see. Saturday at one, seems to work really well until it's summer and then nobody's there so but I do two month what I also do is the month before in the beginning of the month I tell you when they are and what the classes are sometimes I do a whole quarter in advance with me doing all the things I'm doing this week I don't know that it's gonna I'm gonna have the whole quarter by January 1st or 2nd it probably won't go up out until January 2nd but um, always two classes. There very rarely do we change the dates after we're set. So what would cause it cause that, and you would get notified, is if I got sick, if we had to travel, maybe have to go sh help Cheryl's um, parents, or if there seemed like if it seems like there's going to be some kind of crazy weather event sometimes i will go ahead and postpone instead of waiting for us to not have power or something like that but it, you know that might happen once or twice a year i think it happened a couple of times last year and then i could think of years before that that it never happened so it's kind of situational so um Oh, good. Lee said I joined the cooking club a couple days ago. Looking forward to attending classes in the new year. Excellent. Don't forget you got that one accidental sample class out on the net. Oh, that's true, too. There is a whole class that you guys can watch. Do you, Cheryl, can you put that in the... I can't remember which one. Um, if, you, if you log into Kathy's cooking club, or if you log into YouTube, go into the lives, you can probably find it. But um, if not, I'll come back and put this up or we'll look at it next time. I did do, I broadcast live on YouTube a whole class because w there was some issues and it was just time. And that way you guys can see what a class looks like. Um, Scrappin says, I'm looking forward to the Mary's mini session. 
we do a prep session prior so we can shop ahead of time maybe i am still planning it so do you know what you guys and and scrap in if you email me at kathyhester at gmail.com what you want because i'm still trying to figure out how this is going to look and when the time period is going to be and i think it's a great idea but after i make this goat cheese recipe i'm not going to remember it so if you would email me i would be i would love to I would love to, and it's a brilliant idea, so thank you. All right, so now it's time for me to shut my gob about the cooking club. But if you have more questions, ask. And, um, oh, hey, Jessica. I listen at work, but can't log on to comment. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I know everything's complicated. So let's, let's see what we can do with some goat cheese extravaganza. A prep session sounds brilliant, yeah. And I was thinking... Because, yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten clear exactly what recipes we're doing, but we're definitely probably going to, we're going to do with the potatoes, we'll do like, we'll do a, a cheesy sauce, we'll do some fries, obviously air fried fries, but anyhow, see, I could go off on a tangent. We could talk about things that I could do for an hour. So I have to make this cheese now or it will not get mad, made mad. Will not get mad. No, no mad cheese here. So again, for those of you who are joining and you're like, what is she talking about? So a long, long time ago, I wrote the Great Vegan Bean book, which is my second book. I think I have like 10 books now. And also a goal for 2024 is to have new ebooks. And there is going to be uh, a potion and powders ebook, which means oil-free sauces, spice blends, all of my favorite things. So if there's something you're wanting um, for that. And Cheryl, Sandra just sent you an email. She's having trouble logging on. Um, if you just signed up, make sure you should get an email from Thrivecart that has a lot of the information on it. But sometimes there can be an issue with Thrivecart. So if you ever have a problem logging in, you can always email support at healthyslowcooking.com. We can send you an admin reset your password. We cannot tell you what your password is. We cannot reset your password. We don't have the capabilities, but I can click a button and it sends you a special thing. What happens is sometimes people collect these and so then they have the wrong passwords everywhere. So just try and be real mindful of saving the email you get when you, when you um, sign up and make a note of some of that. Because I don't know, Thrive, Thrivecart is going through some changes. I'm hoping they go through changes in the good way and get these things fixed so they don't have to change platforms again. But that is not on my agenda for 2024 because <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> King's Child likes the idea of a prep session too. Oh good, <clears throat> and Cheryl has a class. What, what class is that, Cheryl? Oh, whole food plant-based potato class. So it'll be kind of similar to what we might do in uh, Mary's Mini as far as some of the recipes. Got, um, samosa stuffed potatoes. Samosa stuffed potatoes. Pumpkin oat queso. Pumpkin oat queso. Alu gobi. Alu gobi, which is cauliflower potato dish. And miso mash. And miso mashed potatoes, which I am in love with since that class. So you can get all of those. Um, Okay, great. So hopefully that helps. All right, let's make some let's make some stuff. Some people have like headed out. They're like, this lady really just tricked us. I did not trick you. I promise. I was gonna do that at the end, but then everybody started asking questions. All right, so these are uh, it's a can of navy beans. I've strained out. The aquafaba I, and we may use it some in the blending we'll see what how things work this has been sitting here for a long time now because actually I've been live almost an hour how does this happen I just get into this like this is why classes end up being <laughs> being long 
Okay, so we're going to put that, and this is basically the base. This is what's going to make up the bulk. A lot of cheeses we're using, like, so cashews to make up the bulk. I want to find another way to do this for Chef AJ because she can't have beans. She's allergic. So, and I wanted to show you, I know we just did um, a milk pulp class last week. Was it last week? I think so. So this is some okara from this morning. That was half a cup of soybeans made into milk in the Mia mat. But I want you to see just how silky smooth it is, especially when compared to this, which was also made in the, a different Mia mat. And this one was also frozen. So you can see the consistencies can vary widely. We're gonna use this one. And then I think that we could do this too with almond milk pulp. Now, how I, I use the Mia mat, and you guys have heard me talk about it before. It, it's, the, it's the milk maker I use all the time. I like the Arc Mira if you need a smaller, not a smaller milk maker. Both of them have heat and do soy. This is the Mia mat. I think on um, YouTube there's a link that you can get if you, if you use my code. You get some, like, I think it's $10 off. But this is really good. It does not strain it out for you. There's a little tube that goes on there to help it blend better. You just use a fine mesh strainer. So if you're going to make oat milk, and oat milk only, just use your blender. You don't need to spend money on a fancy machine to make oat milk. You don't have to spend money to make almond milk. What I do with my almond milk now, and it's a higher fat consistency, and we'll probably make it, maybe we'll make it this week, is I've been soaking a half, well actually, I tried it soaked and unsoaked, it did both, it did great. A half a cup of almonds to about four and a half to five cups of water. In milk makers, the stuff goes in, then the water typically, and you'll never have it overflow. And that is, enough protein and fat to foam. So I can get that almond milk to foam. Store-bought almond milk doesn't foam. All right, so let's see how much okara we can, we can get in here. So this is the, and I'll show you here too, so you can kind of, usually I get about a half a cup of okara, and I, I don't strain it that well. And again, this is a little bit, come here, there you go. And I'll show you, see how smooth, this almost looks like yogurt. And this looks like cottage cheese or something. And what I'm wondering, because I'm going to use this in the pizza dip that I make as, because I make okara ricotta, right? And we'll be making that sometime this week too. I'm going to put just a little bit more in because I felt like it wasn't quite a whole half cup. Oh, SFOS just joined Kathy's Cooking Club. Yay! I'm so glad that you guys are going to come and hang out with us and learn some stuff. And it just, it just means the world to me. I want to build like the best, kindest community that we can find on the internet. That's, that's my goal. All right. So we'll see if this is enough. We'll see if we need to add some other things in here as far as bulk. Okay, great. Now, when we're looking here, it was one and a half cups of cooked white beans, which we did. I used canned navy beans, cannellini beans would work, great northern beans would work, fancy rancho gordo beans that you have that are white in the fridge. Why white beans? And why do I call things white beans instead of cannellini beans? And, because I will put whatever bean is white in a recipe. <laughs> you can choose to be different, but like literally if I go and I'm expecting cannellini beans and I see navy beans, works for me. So we can make it as easy as we can. Oh, how many almonds would you use in the arc mirror? It's been a while. I think I used two tablespoons. Two tablespoons makes a decent amount of pulp in there. 
So I probably would use two tablespoons. Oh, the other thing I didn't say on the Mia mat, and I'd let me look, let me grab the arc mirror. And so I'm giving you the right um, cycle. I'm coming over with my um, cabinet o oh, milk makers. So the arc mirror is my favorite small milk maker. So it's it's. I'll show you side by side. That makes more sense than me going, it's smaller, it's bigger. Let's see. So this makes about four cups of milk. If you use the max line, this makes about one and a half to two cups. And they're both stainless steel on the inside. What I like to do with the Arc Mira is I'll make tea lattes because there's a warm 140 degrees setting that goes for five minutes. That's what I would do the almond milk on here. I do the almond milk on the cereal milk setting. So it's cooking the almonds that makes it thicker and foam, just in case you were wondering. All right. And I have no, I'm saving this aquafaba. We could use it if we need something else for blending. Any sub for okara? Well, you can't have soy nuts or seeds. Since I'm just making this recipe, I don't even know that this works. But um, what you can certainly, here's what I would do for you, because you can have beans, is I would put all the flavorings in the well-drained beans and maybe even add more beans. So what did I, and speaking of that, I need to put, I did one cup of okara. No, I did a half cup okara. One and a half cups white beans. You might be able to do it with some other stuff and we can keep experimenting, but that's where I would go with that, is I would just make the flavors in the beans. You might even be able to, and we might have to do this, add some ground chia seed or add some ground flaxseed to soak up some of that liquid or maybe put rolled oats in there. Once we start adding rolled oats, it's going to cut down the amount of time that it's going to keep in the fridge. So if you're making it for a party tonight, go for it. Okay, so we would use almonds, non-dairy milk, macadamia nuts, juice of one lemon. Actually, this is before I knew about lactic acid. So I think I'm going to go in heavy with a half a teaspoon of lactic acid since it's so tart. Okay, we'll start there. And here I used a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and I think I'm gonna keep that about the same. This is a two tablespoon measure. So, Using less nutritional yeast gives it that a little bit of umami flavor, but not the overly cheesy part of that flavor, like we would use it if we were making American or cheddar. Okay, I did two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, so let's start there. Yeah, and I'm going to come up with a different substitution too. This is just the first version. Um, someone said that they found Okara at Publix grocery store. I've not seen it yet, but someone told me that recently. Okay, one, two. Because as we're dealing with different substitutions and things like that, what I want you to remember is there's goat cheese. Then there's this bean version with nuts. Then there's this okara version. The okara version isn't going to taste exactly the same as the nut version, which may not taste exactly the same as the oat version, which may not taste as, right? Um, another thing we might be able to do, this would be for definitely cut down on shelf life. You could also do some lightly steamed riced cauliflower, I think might be a good substitute for okara. It's a guess. I cannot guarantee it's going to work, but that's what I would try if I were you. So <laughs> you decide if that's a dice you want to roll, <laughs> basically. Um, I do salt 
but you could do salt substitute. So I do find when I am, when I'm making vegan cheeses, since I do salt, I do add a good bit, because pretty much cheese is salt and oil. You can use any salt substitute you want. We could make this with garam masala. We could make this with um, a chili powder blend, an Italian seasoning blend, because you know, lots of the, um, I just forgot the name. How did I just forget? Um, the spice place that Chef AJ likes. It's not here right now. Where's my bacon seasoning? Here we go. Oh, they're all for here. <laughs> so you can get things that have flavor, like local spicery, pepperoni, salalicious, bacon seasoning. You could use any of these. It's just they're going to give you a lot. Oh, Sandra told me about the Okara and Publix in Florida. So Sandra, how is it? Is it just packaged? I still have to go to Publix. Our Publix is like 30 minutes away, maybe a little longer. It's like way far in Morrisville. Um, what? She's making, Cheryl's making fun of me. It's not, wait, we just haven't gone that way. So we will go check it. So Cheryl, are you going to take me there so we can check it? <laughs> All right, am I going to feed her if she takes me? Of course I am. I feed everyone. In one way or another. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt. Generally, if I put this to class, I would say, and I'm, I'm even going to write this down, a half to one teaspoon of salt. Why? Because that way you can do it to taste. So if you eat a little bit of salt, start in the lower end. If you're coming from the standard American diet, just getting trying these crazy things, go ahead and add all the salt in unless you're on a salt-free diet. Then use any salt substitute you've been using or use my internet famous <laughs> easy plain salt substitute. One tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon ground celery seed. I blend it together in a spice, a spice grinder. You could put it in a blender and then use like you would salt. Just fill this up with that and then you're not adding Indian, Italian, whatever kinds of spices to something that you just want to have a little bit of salty mouth feel. Uh, and Sandra said it was, it was shelf stable. That sounds like crazy talk. Um, I didn't look closely as so it was a hurry. Ah, uh, Lynn says the Cary Publix does not have, or I couldn't find it. I think the Cary Publix, isn't that right there? It's, it's like Morrisville Carry. There's a bunch of there's a couple of Indian groceries right down the road, and there's um, one of the vegan or vegetarian Indian restaurants is nearby. So I think that I, I never know where turns to what Carry in Morrisville, but I'll check that out. But you just what you want is something that has a little bit of texture and body. It's not going to melt away. That's not going to go to bad too quickly. And I said juice of one lemon, which is helpful when you have lemons. I have this. And so I'm going to start with a teaspoon of lemon juice. And some of my older recipes depend on what my publisher at the time wanted me to do with things like that. I would, Sandra, if you could take pictures of it and send them to me at kathyhester at gmail.com or to Cheryl at support at healthyslowcooking.com, whatever's easier for you to remember, that would be fabulous. No idea if this is going to blend or not or if we're going to need more liquid. So let's find out. And we could also do beans and yogurt, I think would be a great substitution, um, Ronnie. It probably is going to not firm up quite as much. And so then I might put some gr ground chia seeds in it. And that's what I have to think. All right, so this is the Beast. I think it's still on sale at Costco. I have not been to Costco. 
I'm not planning on going to Costco this week either. <laughs> I want all the people to go away. But this was like 120. Um, usually like the small ninja I use is about like that. It's usually $200. It came with three different containers. And I've been using it for a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna shake this around a little bit. It, it got some of it. Chances are good I'm gonna to need to add a little bit of liquid in here. But I'm being stubborn, as I am likely to be. The only thing I don't love are these ridges, are a little harder to clean. But I do find the motor's like. What is it? A thousand, what is it? A thousand watts. Or a thousand watts. Cheryl, say hi. Don't just walk by people. <laughs> I'm not sure you can. Oh, you got. <laughs> she has Harry Potter jammy pants on. <laughs> That's awesome. Okara powder online. I'll look up I'll look up Okara powder. The reason I really like it, I like Okara. Soy milk is my favorite milk. And um, and actually I'll let you see what this looks like right now. And there's still some beans in there and stuff. See? I think we've got kind of a nice thick texture. I don't want to mess with that too much. I'm also going to go ahead and get what I can from under here. And I can go ahead and kind of give it a little taste. Now in the old recipe, the, the nuts were really help giving the body and the texture and the mouth feel of the fat. So I'm gonna take a little taste. That's not bad. It's not tangy enough. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Actually, I'm gonna add two. And I may tell you not to do that. <laughs> um, so I put in four, and that's also some liquid. So that could help. I feel like we could use some more lactic acid. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there too. And I put a half a teaspoon. I almost called it at one, but here's the thing. And, you know, we were talking about kind of talking about developing recipes, which is what I'm doing right now. Is sometimes you have to stop what you think you should do and cut it back by half. Because you can always add more, but you can never take it out. Davika says, love staying in my jammies all day. I know, and Cheryl is off all week. Um, Claudia said, um, is there a discount for paying by the year? And that's what I said. So if you pay per year, it's $250 per year if you get this sale right now. After that, it's a different price. Um, or $25 a month. So when you buy for a year, you get two months for free. So even if you paid full price. So full price is $50 a month, and you would pay $500 a year. So, um, but yes, the sale works on the year plan as well. Oh, Cheryl's figuring out exactly what that is per month. But it's, I think it's 20% off or something. 
$20 and some change, she says. So that's the cheapest way to get Kathy's cooking book. Come on. It still needs more liquid. But I'm, I would like to taste it, a, smell it a little bit better. I'm going to taste it, use a different finger. Ooh, okay, no more apple cider vinegar. And that's what I wanted to know. Can I add some more? But I think that's tangy enough. Get my, get my tasting spoon. Ooh, it's nice and tangy. So I think I'm, I'm actually deciding what I'm going to do, which is why I keep saying it over and over again and not finishing, because that's I'm trying to give my brain time to process what it wants to do. Hello, brain. Talk to the rest of the class. Um, I think we could go and do a little more lemon juice. Now, this is going to be very tangy. So let's do... That was from this. I'm going to go all in. I'm going to put a whole other teaspoon of lemon juice in there. And this may be a mistake. And this is exactly how class is when I'm making up things. I, tell, I try to tell you why I'm making the decisions I'm making so that you can kind of make your own. <laughs> Sometimes possibly better decisions. We're blending. I feel like I just shot a rocket into space. Let this blend. It's going to stop for a minute and start back up. Can you see? I think you see it. I think you see it better there. I want to let this get as smooth as possible. And then I'm going to try something else I haven't tried before with this recipe, since this is a brand new recipe anyhow. Let's see how thick it is now that it blended. I would die if that fell out. But it's it's really, really thick. Let me get another tasting spoon. It's very tart. So I think we're going to call this extra tart goat cheese. But I think that kind of works. You're not just tasting a lemon, you're getting some pucker from the vinegar blended with the lactic acid blended with the lemon. And then you kind of have this base of beans. You don't taste the okara at all, it's just there being a, a helpful protein. And I want to kind of see, I don't know if we can make a log out of it or not. So let's see what this looks like when we put it in here. And I'm just going to move, I'm going to um, probably freeze that aquafaba. Usually if I have white beans or chickpeas in a, in a can, what I do is I take that and I freeze it in ice cube trays. I, a typical ice cube tray is two tablespoons, which is about what you use for an egg replacer. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know. Fergus made his little bird noise, but he's looking at the door, but I don't see a bird on the door. I don't think the chipmunk is back. Y'all, does everyone know that we had a chipmunk living in the house for like a month and Fergus and Max just like did nothing about it? <laughs> they socialized with it. And we had a bunch of stuff over here. That's why I cleaned this whole area. And I'd hear this, and I was like, what? Did Fergus just kill the chipmunk? I was really panicked. No, little chipmunk was running out going, bah! and Fergus would run away. And that is literally how we ended up with a chipmunk that long. Ooh, Scrappin says the Beast is on sale for $120 at Costco. Okay, it was $119, so it's the same thing. I think it was $119.99 or something like that. But see, this is kind of like a thick hummus. And it's also a little warm from being blended so long. Is that, Claudia, I don't understand when you say is that link on the website. So if you click the link that says the discount sale link, once you scroll down, you can, it will automatically pick $25 a month. Next to that is another checkbox that says 200, or well, it says $500 a year, but because you have the coupon code, it will change and you'll see down at the bottom that it'll, it'll take off $250. So it's that same exact link if you want to buy for the month or if you want to buy for the year. Um, most things I try to buy for the year. Here, I'll come on. I'm trying to click this thing. I know you hear me clicking, clicking. So I'm just getting... This is the hard part, and I'll show you a little bit. Let's show you here. See how there's a lot of ridges? That's the only thing I'm not super fond of. And let's see what else I've missed. Um, okay, cool. Because you could totally... Um, And maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that in a class this year because I want to do at least one more dehydrator class because I tell you what, four times already with the mason jar soup class, that's why. And, and another thing, if you're like, I just can't possibly be part of a membership that doesn't fit my life at all, I'm going to be selling a single class every month for 2024. That is one of my business goals. <laughs> So you can gift them to friends if you want. You'll have to talk to me about that if you're going to gift because there's not a way to do that in Thrivecart. We have to work that out together or you can email Cheryl. Um, if you want to gift somebody, um, Kathy's Cooking Club, that can happen too. But again, it has to happen through us, like off of Thrivecart. And then I can make you a special a special coupon to, to gift them and set up their account and stuff like that. Um, Debbie was saying, what do I think of the beast versus the ninja? I, you know, I think this does make things smoother. Like, I don't love this, but there, even the, the container that had on the ninja that has the little mixer, this one, it's also hard to clean, but it's just in between those blades. I wish they, that they weren't, because on the outside, there's two for every one that's on the inside, so they are bigger, but it's, it's, it's uncomfortable. I don't like it. So let me let you see how smooth this is. And remember, our Okara was a chunky mess, right? The Okara, and actually, I can show you that. <laughs> this was the Okara we used. So see how chunky, see how smooth it is in here? And I don't think this, I'm trying to see if it sets up at all. So with when we use nuts, because of the oil, if it gets cold, it's going to set up more. And I don't think this is going to set up enough for us to 
roll into a log. So I'm trying to decide, let's, let's get another bowl. We'll put some of it in and I'll see if I can make a mini one, maybe. And what we might be able to do with that. I don't know. I'm not feeling the best about this, but I feel like I have to try. <laughs> Let's use this. I'll see if I can, because I was thinking we might be able to put in some stuff to like chia seeds or something like that. Let me taste it again. It is delightful and extra sharp. So I'm going to put in the recipe. I'm going to put a half to one teaspoon of lactic acid because the apple cider vinegar and the lemon juice, which we need to blend it. And if you're not using a really powerful blender, you may have to add more liquid. So at some point, it's going to be a vanishing return if you can make this into a ball of anything. I don't really want to put flax seeds because that's going to make it taste icky. I have a little bit of ground chia seeds. Now these are chia seeds that I grind myself and if you guys see that, that's a desiccant pack. I recommend saving these from any vitamins, medicines that you or your family have. So when we do spice blends, you can put them in too. Okay, so since I suggested that Ronnie maybe try it that way, Let's take a quarter cup of the mixture. I'm going to try and just make like a tiny little ball or something. I think a ball may work better than, um, than a log. And let's take... Let's take about, I hate to use a whole half teaspoon, but I'm going to try a half teaspoon. So we did a, a quarter cup mixture, half a teaspoon of chia seeds. Okay. And so that, again, it's just a quarter cup of the mixture and some chia seeds. I'm going to mix it together and then see, give it some time to see if it'll, how much it'll gel and thicken up. And also we're going to taste it and see if this was just a bad idea altogether. It's obviously not going to, you know, you could use, actually I think these may be white chia seeds. White chia seeds are kind of gray. I can't remember. Maybe they're not. Maybe they are black chia seeds, but they're going to change the color some. So we'll talk and look at some questions and we'll let this sit. Because this is our experiment. Why didn't I just do it with all of this? Because what if this one doesn't work? We can try some other things. Also, honestly, I think serving it just like this in a cute little pot is also equally delightful. Um, because usually in store-bought cheeses, they're coconut oil heavy nuts, macadamia nuts, almonds, all those things are fats and as they get colder they're going to um, come together more. And also this mixture is kind of warm so maybe I'll stick this in the fridge while I ask, answer some questions since it's like, I don't know, like 60 some degrees today. Okay, so we'll see what happens. So I like the Beast, I really do like the Beast a lot. Um, I'm using it most of the time. I still have a spice grinder that goes with the Ninja. If I had to buy fresh, the Beast grinds spice blends finer than the Ninja spice grinder. So I probably would end up with the Beast. It is a little more of a pain to clean. It's a little pain to scrape things out with. But at $119, I think that's a really great price for as strong as the motor is. Oh, and Elizabeth says, um, soy milk okara pulp powder, dried soy pulp flour. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and so like what I could do is I could just dehydrate this and grind it. It's exactly what they're doing. Um, this really fine one is just because the, I, I have a newer Mio mat and it just, it just grinds them down after soaking so well. It's just really nice. Okay, awesome. I'm seeing a car powder online. Um, Kelly says she's never had goat milk cheese. And um, it's just going to be really tart and tangy. Almost to the point of maybe you don't like this. Some people don't like goat cheese. Um, some people say it tastes goaty, but what it tastes is tart, a little bit sour. It's not this sumptuous brie. Brie to me is like fat and salt, runny fat and salt, and that's why everybody loves it. I love this because it's a little bit of a, this one not so much, but it's a little bit of a punch in the mouth compared to other cheeses. I mean, just think of apple cider vinegar. If you've had apple cider vinegar, that's toned down a little bit with the lemon. So you get a little bit, it pulls it down, and then the lactic acid just slides in a little bit of that tartness too. A, a, a flavorless, just tart kind of thing. Oh, good, Jennifer. We want you to be a part of Kathy's Cooking Club. So can't wait to see you there. And Claudia, I think you're talking to Cheryl, but you're watching on YouTube. So I think I'm here, the, um, and it's the opposite way. So I'm here, then down here, our comments. If you go directly under here, it'll say blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. Click that and then that's where the link with the coupon code is. So it'll take you right to that sales page. And Tracy Reese never ate goat cheese and never wanted to try it. <laughs> See, I always like to try the weird thing. So, um, but it's one of the ones, I think there are a couple of vegan cheeses that come close, but none just go for the tang the same way. So you probably could add this tang into other recipes. That you wanted to. Davinka said we had a golden retriever dog. A robber entered the house, walked up the stairs. The dog never barked. Yeah. Well, Max is not about people in the house or delivery trucks going down our street. So those are his hard no's. <laughs> Evidently, living with a chipmunk is fine. Oh, hey, Mary Ellen, happy holidays to you as well. Let's see if I can move that a little bit so you can see the comments. Um, yeah, Claudia said one of her friends tried to give her goat cheese. She'd gotten her food box. Yeah, no more goat cheese. We don't do any dairy at all. Apple, yay! It's experimental goat cheese day. <laughs> it's perfect time for you to come in. Um, I made this beautiful spread with okara and beans and a smattering of apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, lactic acid, nutritional yeast, and salt. You could use the salt substitute. I added some ground chia seeds to a small portion of it. We've got it in the fridge while I'm answering these questions, and we'll see if we can log it up or make a roll out of it or something like that. And if not, we'll do something different tomorrow. Yeah, goat cheese is, goat cheese is different. So one of my favorite last vegetarian um, desserts was a cannoli filled with goat cheese and pistachios and that is something I would love to recreate but that would be really hard to do that not fried and all the things um, they Kimberly the days and times of Kathy's cooking club vary I usually do two different ones two different days and two different times a month if at all possible so I haven't decided the classes for January yet. I wasn't prepared for all the detailed questions because I'm still in my in-between. Um, but typically we'll do like a Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We were doing Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Last month I did two classes at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's a little late for me 
because if we do a three-hour class, that's, that's like my bedtime. Um, but, but we can see what happens. You guys can also say, hey, I really wish a class would happen at X, but we've got to remember I have cooking club members in the UK as well as on the West Coast. So going a little bit earlier also kind of helps. And also that's why I don't do, I was trying to do 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays, but that was really hard for the West Coast people. So I'm always kind of tweaking and balancing it. And Ronnie says a thin spatula makes it a little easier to get the mixture out of the ridges and the beast. Do you have a spatula you love for that? Because if you would send me the link, I will buy it to go along in my spatula collection. I feel like it's going to be my spatula collection that when I pass, will go to like the museum. <laughs> no one will want them but me. You guys will have to come get my spatulas. <laughs> but like I have silly spatulas, important spatulas, spatulas I like, and I have some tiny ones, but I'm probably not using the best one for that. Um, Apple says someone needs to ask Kathy to design these machines, get someone who actually uses them to design them. I would love to be testing some machines as people are designing them. Uh, I also used to be a web developer, so I'm used to that kind of process and building things up. And in a way, it's really kind of similar to recipe development, too. And I would love that. Um, and it, I find it really hard. Like, I had an in at Ninja for a hot minute. Then they're gone. So I have no ends in Ninja anymore. So I don't get, I don't get the lowdown. But and I know the Beast tends to partner with really fancy influencers. And I'm not a fancy influencer. But Beast, if you want to talk, I am the appliance whisperer. Natalie Slater called me that, and I'm claiming it. And Mona called me the Oak Queen, so I'm just adding to my titles. Um, Dominique, I have problems getting my old classes from Podia on Thrivecart. All classes were moved from Podia to Thrivecart. Nothing exists on Podia except a message that says, nothing exists, go to Thrivecart. If, I suspect, Dominique, you have two logins, and I bet, bet you have two. One got transferred from Podia. It, when it moved from Podia, it didn't transfer over anybody's passwords. So you were sent out, if you're in Kathy's Cooking Club, you were sent out like 80 <laughs> emails about your classes were moving, because literally every time I moved a class over, I emailed you. Uh, that was a long time ago. So I think a lot of people just went, I don't want to see any of those. But what you should do is email support at healthyslowcooking.com and Cheryl will help you. But in general, when people say what you just said, they have more than one account. That means more than one address. And sometimes those two addresses are just a typo. And that causes problems too. Um, I would love to see me use the Ocar car powder too. So I'll have to make or get some. Um, but yeah, I have no Okara powder at this moment. I think what it would do is you would have, for sure you'd have to add some liquid because right now we're getting some of our moisture from the Okara. So probably some non-dairy yogurt, some homemade milk, or store-bought milk is fine. Um, something like that you or you could use some of the bean water the bean water isn't going to add any flavor much texture i mean in this in particular i don't feel like it's going to cheryl that's a good question too toasted oats tahini might help but i'm trying i'm trying to get away from all the nuts and seeds in this one but i agree with you tahini also is a great flavor for some of that cheese funk Another thing is if this hadn't gotten tart and funky enough for me, I would have added some miso. You could have added some prepared mustard or mustard powder. Um, fermented tofu blended in there will give you a lot of funk. So you got a lot of funky options. Oh. Lydia, sometimes it breaks my heart when I ask you guys to get something and in Canada it's like $1,000. So I think it's usually around $20 lactic acid. Um, I don't know about 
I get mine on Amazon. I have never seen it in the store. I would also look on the modern, I think it's the modern pantry or the modernist pantry. They do molecular gastronomy. They will have lactic acid. They will have capicarrhagenin if you're trying to make the cheese. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, and Lydia's in Canada. Yeah, I think it's around 14 to $20 usually. Um, Yuki Deer loves her beast, especially for spices, dressing, sauces, and one serving smoothies. So this is the mid-size, and maybe this will help too. So why should you bother going to Costco? I think you don't get all three of these. You only get one bottom, but these are the three sizes. So this is great for a tiny amount of something. And yeah, and this you can fill all the way up to here. So you can get a lot, a lot of stuff. At first I was worried that it was only like dressings and smoothies, but I love that it's doing some of these thicker things and it's also doing dry so it said you can grind coffee in it and then i tried grinding some spices and they were way smoother uh yeah i'm so sorry you guys apple and Lydia, it, and it just breaks my heart because then i find something that's inexpensive over here and then it just seems like canadian amazon is just i uh, doing drugs or something because everything's always so much more expensive. Um, and DRE does her Okara dry, easy to dry and grind. Yeah, Druid's Grove is $15 in the US. Use this to clean your beast. I don't see what this is, Yuki dear. Um, Maybe you're emailing me. Email, email it to me at kathyhester at gmail.com. It will take the links out if you put it in here. You can also email support at Healthy Slow Cooking and Cheryl can put it in because she's an admin. Um, oh, hey, Lisa. I hope you're having a, had a, we had a Merry Christmas. We had a boring Christmas, which is exactly what I wanted. We still have not decorated our tiny little tree we brought in the house. And I'm not sure we're going to, but we'll see. We might today. You never know. Oh, and Dee makes vegan goat cheese balls where she, she, um, she fries them. So if we made the mixture thick enough, we might be able to. And I just, I'm just going to veto the whole fried goat cheese balls with this. Let's just veto it. Because what I see is it getting warm and squishing out. So no. Um, what is the gel that thickens cheeses? Some people cook with tapioca starch, agar agar, capicarrhagenin. There's a whole bunch. And so since this is really, a sp this started out again as a spread, we're, we're updating the flavor profile. The flavor profile of this is, is much better than that one, partially just because of lactic acid. Lactic acid is amazing. However, don't if, if you're in Canada, don't spend $50 on lactic acid. Go to an Asian market, get some fermented tofu. Um, get some miso. It's not a one-to-one, -one, but you can make a delicious savory spread without it. Um, Lisa says cats are sentinels. They let you know where the noise is coming from and expect you to get it. That is Fergus. Fergus is, so I have the door open over here and he has one of those little round scratching post beds that kind of cave in. And he's just laying there watching the rain. He was watching the birds fight earlier. I don't know what got into the birds. They were just like fighting with each other. I'm literally yelling out the kitchen door, you guys calm down. It can't be that bad. <laughs> so if they take me away, that's why. Yeah, goat cheese with figs. You know what? If you chopped up some figs. Oh, no. This is what we should do. We should have figs. We should dried figs, cut them in half, and pipe this in. That's what should be done. And that, The tovalo spatula. I'll see if I can find that. Kathy's Emporium of Spice and Spatulas. Apple, that is, 
I want that to be a children's book written about a kitchen witch. <laughs> oh, it would be a good t-shirt. So Cheryl's saying maybe we'll make t-shirts that says Kathy's, maybe we'll say, yeah, Emporium of Spice and Spatulas. Um, Justine says, getting close to pulling the trigger on Kathy's Cooking Club, starting to get f FOMO. And it's not that you'll never be able to buy it again, it's just it won't be this cheap. So I want to be clear about that. Um, the annual membership does automatically renew. It goes through Stripe or PayPal depending on which you use to sign up. So if you use a credit card, it goes through the Stripe processing system. Right now, I don't think it tells you. If any cooking club members could tell me, it's, there's nothing I can really do on my side. Um, you can then, if, if you're really worried, what, here's what I do. Let's do it all this way, because I'm, I'm like trying to find a, a solution, but the best solution, and this is what I use for my yearly memberships, if you get it today, Go to next year, seven days before the day it's due, and say, this is going to renew in seven days. I put it on my Google Calendar, I tag Cheryl on it, and that way next year I go, oh, I love this, of course I want this to renew, or not. Because what happens is sometimes if you renew and you cancel, sometimes that messes up the system and it'll lock you out of your classes and you have to contact us. So the best thing to do is that, put it in your calendar. What is the beast? This is the beast. This is part of the beast. I'll put the rest of the beast. Or I'll, this is, it's, a, it's a blender. So this is the beast. And the one from Costco right now is 119 and it contains two other containers. It's a really good deal. It's a 100 watt motor. So for a small blender, it has almost the capacity blending wise as the Vitamix. And in fact, it, it made the spread a little bit warm, just like the Vitamix. Ooh, Tovalo spatula I found from Jane Esselstein. Awesome. Aw, Dee says I'm her kitchen toy guru. I appreciate that very much. What else can we move out of the way so you can see the comments that are coming in? Oh, yay! Claudia's a member! I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun next month, you guys. I do have the, well, let's see. I have this one. It's a William Sonoma one that's like the other one. You know what? I never tried it in here. Maybe this is all I need. Does it fit? No, it's, a, if, if it's still too big for these. Mm. Okay, so that has a large one and mini. Sounds like I need a mini one. And I don't know if the Modernist Pantry is going to be a better price in Canada or not, but I would love for you guys to tell me. And if it is, I will put it in like the recipes on the site that Canadian lactic acid and send a link over there. Oh, you're so sweet, Liz. Ooh, bulk barn. Maybe everything's expensive because we're all jealous that you have bulk barn. I want a bulk barn. Oh, and uh, Apple's saying, Lydia, do you have any local vegan grocery stores? Sometimes online cheese making supply stores carry vegan lactic acid. That's a great idea, too. Yeah, and Dee was saying with these goat ch vegan goat cheese balls, they don't work in the air fryer. Because I tried to, and I know you can make it work, but you have to have the perfect batter. I tried to make Cheryl some cheese sticks. And it wasn't that great. Um, Liz says, my favorite goat cheese in my previous life was rolled in fresh chopped herbs. <laughs> Liddy says, I would buy Kathy Hester spatulas and t-shirt merchandise. I made some shirts for Halloween, and I think if you're on YouTube, you still see them somewhere. But I'll make some more up. Oh, Kathleen says Costco just dropped the beast today for forty dollars off, and I think the forty dollars off makes it one nineteen. Is that right, Kathleen? Or are you seeing something different? 
Okay. And and honestly, for those of you thinking about Kathy's Cooking Club, this is very much like Kathy's Cooking Club, only I'm just doing one recipe. All right. So this is definitely colder. So let's try this and see what happens. It may be a bad idea. So this is, so I made a big batch of the goat cheese. And the recipe is going to go up on the blog eventually, before the, before the new year. And then we just mixed it with some ground chia seeds to see if maybe it'll set up a little better and if maybe we can roll it into a ball. That's the goal. I don't know what I'm reaching for. Let's do this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of this everything bagel seasoning in here. Let me see if I can mix it up really good so it's not just garlic or sesame seeds or whatever. So I said I was trying to make this seed free and now I'm getting sesame seeds in there, I know. <laughs> Life is hard sometimes. Uh, I, think, I think that might work. Let's see. I'm trying to see if how I can easily with making the less contact with my warm hands, make this slightly ball-like. So we chilled it. We also gave it probably about 20 minutes for that half teaspoon of chia seeds to kind of, you know, thicken up. This is an experiment for anyone watching. No one's tried this before that I know of. I know I haven't. Okay. And I know we can make a patty out of this for sure. And I want to get a bunch of this on so I can really work it with my hands. There is salt in this blend, so you can use a blend that doesn't have salt. I do have a cutting board because this would be a fun, fun New Year's treat. Let's put that back in the bowl. Okay. And if I don't think, well, we might be able to ball it up. Let's see. I want to get every little bit coated in this stuff that I can because that's just going to help me be able to touch it and ball it up without making it fall apart as much. And we might be able to. I don't know. I'm feeling like I might be able to log this thing. Let's see if I can make it into a log. If I can make it into a log, my dreams will come true for the whole new year. This will be my new, uh, maybe all of our dreams will come true for the new year. Because it doesn't have to be super thick, right? Let me give you a, so you can kind of see, I'm holding it. As, I'm, as more of the stuff is being exposed, like there, you see how it's becoming exposed as I'm shaping it. I'm adding more things to help it be covered. I think that's kind of working. And then I would put it in the fridge again to chill a little bit longer. You can put a little more stuff here to try and catch any of those edges. But as it sits out, there we go. it is going to be soft. Okay, so what I'm going to, I just want to get all this off. I'm calling this a win. I don't know what you guys are calling it, but I'm calling it a win and a mess. And here's the thing. Yeah, 
I think that's good. We can, let's see if I cut into it with my cheese knife. Actually, do I have the Miyoko? I have a Miyoko cheese knife somewhere. It's not here now. But of course, I have Halloween cheese knives. So if I cut a little bit of it, it is going to squish a little bit. There we go. And we could put that on vegan crackers. Here, I'll put it this way so you can kind of see. And it's not slicing hard like the cheese like what we made with the Kappa Carrageena. It's not like the oat pepper jack or the chickpea American slash cheddar, depending on how you spice it. Um, but yeah, I feel good about this. I think Cheryl is not going to like, Cheryl never liked goat cheese. Cheryl, you didn't like goat cheese very much, did you? Will you come taste this? I'll give you two choices of tasting. I'll just give this with some of the, you can have it with the everything seasoning and without. What would you like to start with, out? I think it worked pretty good. It's possible it would have firmed up without the chia seed, but it's got some good funk tart tartness, right? Yeah, it has that like goat funk. Yeah. But it's not really goat funk. But like but that's why you want it to be tart and kind of kind of tart at the finish kind of thing. Yeah, so it's got lactic acid, apple cider vinegar, and lemon what juice. What did in you it. do to this one? Made it like a Look, log? Looky there. Mm. From this to this. Ooh, that's salty. <laughs> I probably should have used the one that didn't have any salt. Wow. Oh, wow. That one is salt. That's salt. That's salty. Woo! <laughs> Where's that one from? Um, I think when I joined the Vegan Potters, did a vegan um, box of the month. I'll show you guys from up here. You can't see it. That one's super salty. Oh, it is. It's big, giant pieces of salt. But here's the thing, you could just roll it in seeds. You could roll it in, but you want it to be something that's gonna give it a little bit of substance. I'm not sure that I would just do Italian seasoning or chopped parsley. Fresh chopped parsley, maybe, mm -hmm. but like onion uh, bit, dried onion bits, garlic bits. All, all I can taste is garlic on that. You, yeah. You that one's too strong for me. Okay, here, I'll give you the other one. <laughs> Debbie says, I want to read that child's book. Yeah, goat cheese is a soft cheese, but there's a difference between a soft cheese and a hummus. <laughs> and this is closer to hummus. But it's like a thick, it's like a really thick hummus. And it's smooth, and the fact that there's no nuts in here mm -hmm. at all. I used okara instead. I would never known that didn't have nuts in it. Yeah, so I think it worked really well. Ronnie was saying she couldn't use nuts and things, but I think if you you can add some ground chia seed. Why would I use ground chia seed? You don't want the little bubbles. You don't want to make this like a boba goat cheese ball. I don't think that would be good. Um, I would recommend using an everything bagel with no salt on it. I just didn't realize how much salt. Oh, these try, are <laughs> try it with your homemade crackers. Oh yeah, so. I'll show you guys. So remember I did a pulp class. Those of you are in Kathy's Cooking Club or just joined, you can go take the pulp class. This is made with almond pulp and it's like a Cheez-It cracker. And they're hard. Hear it? Yeah. Ooh, they're still, they're still crunchy. It's, it's been they're a, in the super. It's been about a week. They're in okay. the good bag. So I'll give some of this to Cheryl on a cracker. I'll put some for me on a cracker. And that was kind of one of our um, one of our less make things from scratch classes. And again, those happen, but they're not every class. And I'll let you guys see what we're looking at here. Ooh, they have slightly uh, less of a crunch than they had before. Well, yeah, but we they're more can, like baked instead of fried. I guess they really are baked instead of fried. Mmm. Oh, the two together go really well. Mm -hmm. 
So I put some nutritional yeast, so I made them like little cheese that's crackers. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think this was a success, huh? Yeah. Mm, I'm for it. This is good lunch. <laughs> I'm a, I fed her soup for breakfast. <laughs> Do I have to go make something else? Mm -hmm. Um. Dried cranberries would be awesome. Actually, really good with this. Mm. Or even any other dried um, dried fruit. Chopped dried figs or dates. But I think taking a date and filling it with this would be really good. And put a little pistachio on the end if you're being holiday forward. Um, <laughs> Lydia says, I love Cheryl's taste ass. I do too. Except when she says, things, that tastes just like Campbell's. And I'm like, try not to be offended. You know, I have not tried kudzu starch. Tell me more, Apple. Have you tried it? And I'll see. I'll, I don't have any, but I could get some. Putting it on my note page. Um, I haven't tried. Xanthan gum I haven't tried. I've used xanthan gum in non-dairy milks to thicken them. I use them in my milk and my ice creamless milkshakes. Um, and I knew what you were talking about, Apple. Okara crackers are the best. Yeah. Um, anyway, we can get the cracker recipe. Did you say SFOS? You joined Kathy's Cooking Club. So if you go log in, go to Kathy's Cooking Club, it's in what did I call that class? Milk pulp Okara class, possibly. You can also email me and I'll send you, I'll send you the link to log in for that class. Um, if you're not a Kathy's Cooking Club member, I don't have those recipes. So like with all of those classes, I have like over 400, probably closer to 500 or 600 recipes in all of those. So I'm putting some of the older ones up on the blog now. I get where I get a little mad at the blog and then I don't put everything up there but I'm trying to put a bunch of stuff up the next couple of weeks. Okay, so this was the longest ever short live. It was two hours long, which seems to be how long lives are when you hang out with me. So this will be going up. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll take some pictures, maybe make a couple of balls and, or logs and things and take a really nice picture when the weather doesn't look like this. <laughs> So it's not gonna it's not gonna be up tomorrow for sure. Um, I'll tell you right now if you I used one and a half cups of white beans, half a cup of okara. I believe that could be any milk pulp. A tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon lactic acid, four teaspoons apple cider vinegar, which I think is a tablespoon plus a teaspoon. I'll do, be doing that math later but four teaspoons, a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of salt or salt substitute. You can do it to taste. I used one teaspoon and I used two teaspoons of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice, you could use some more apple cider vinegar, but you might wanna just add it an extra teaspoon at a time because it could get too much too fast. And so that is all for today. Um, if you, um, I would love to have you join Kathy's Cooking Club. I would love for you to get it while it's on sale. You can pay month to month. You can pay for it for a year. After you join Kathy's Cooking Club, if you join through the coupon, it's going to stay that price. Okay? So if you are already in Kathy's Cooking Club, if you can stay at the price you're at, that would be super helpful because that's what helps me with the sales and helps me with the scholarships. But if not, you can contact support at Healthy Slow Cooking and Cheryl will help you with any options you might or might not have. So we'll take care of that. Um, Nancy said, I was watching Shark Tank. Oh, woo, sorry for making that so big for all of us. I was just trying to move it. I was watching Shark Tank last week and they had, had on a couple from Texas owning a couple. Rebel Cheese, yeah, Rebel Cheese is pretty awesome. Um, I have friends who love that too. Um, 
Marie said that was great. Justine says thank you. How long is it on sale? At least until January 2nd. I, I go on Chef AJ's after when I wanted to do the sale, so it might go on a tad bit longer. If you know that you get paid on January 6th, if you email Cheryl before the sale is over, we will make it an exception. But if you're watching this and it's like January 12th, no exceptions will be made. So it'll just be the price it is then. Does that make sense? So if you're watching this live before the sale has ended and you know you're getting paid, maybe you get paid once a month and you get paid on a certain date, email Cheryl, tell her you want to buy it, talk about when you can do that, and we'll work on a way that you can get that. Oh, thanks, Lydia and Kelly. Lynn says, didn't you add chia to the test mix? Yes, I did, because I'm putting it in a log form. Um, would, would you add it to the real recipe? It depends on how I was going to serve it. If I decided this was, if it was just going to be a regular old spread, I wouldn't. I would just leave it like this. Would it hurt it? No. But um, what I did for this, I probably would not try to log out more than a quarter cup at a time. I don't think it would hold. I think even with gravity, this, this is doing pretty good, but it might spooch a little bit. You could also make patties and have people cut it up like, um, like a cheese wheel. And that would work too, if you want to put some more stuff on it. But honestly, this is pretty delightful the way it is. I am thinking the plain way, you could pipe it into some fruit. <coughs> you could also pipe it into some pasta shells or something like that. There's so many different things you could do with it. But anyhow, if you've been watching this and you have some dying question about Kathy's Cooking Club, email Kathy Hester at gmail.com or Cheryl at support at healthyslowcooking.com. Cheryl is doing most of these while I'm catching up on a bunch of work. So your best bet right now is to email her at support at healthyslowcooking.com. If you don't hear from her for a couple of hours or until the next day, it means we actually went out and did something vacationy but she'll get back to you and you will not be penalized for losing that time, okay? <sighs> Marie, if you sign up today, you get access to over a hundred classes that have been filmed live that are in the library. So you could take more classes than you possibly could in between each class next year if you wanted to. Um, Oh yeah, that would be good with the I've got some dehydrated caramelized onions and that would be delicious. Oh, Hydrin, we missed you. Um, basically this mostly works. It could be a little bit firmer, but I did an Okara bean goat cheese. And here, I'll let you see overhead because I know Hydrin will be interested. So it, I put some ground chia seeds in this one to make it firm up just a little bit more to ball it out. But the recipe will be coming on the blog in the next week, possibly earlier. I know notification. Hydrin, aren't you in, um, aren't you on the heartbeat group too? I sent out an email through the heartbeat group. And if you're in the heartbeat group and you're like, I don't want to get no notifications, you have to change it yourself. And there is a thing under the announcements on exactly how to change it so you don't get notified. Um, but I thought you were in there. If not, go over there, Hydrin, because you get that. You should get notified, too, because I know you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I sent an email out to the general population. Oh, yay, Nancy joined Kathy's Cooking Club. Awesome. I'm so excited. And you guys... Before the week's out, I'm going to send out an email to Kathy's Cooking Club, kind of giving you a few little asides. I'm also thinking it may not happen in January. It may be a little later. I'm going to try and at least once a month send some of these past classes, like remind you that they exist in Kathy's Cooking Club, so that put them on your radar as the seasonal classes come up. So really, if you're in Kathy's Cooking Club and you wanted to take a class every week, you totally could because I have way more than 52 classes, and we're doing 24 new ones. 
Uh, and I totally get that. I check my email all the time, but I don't check my phone. So people text me and I'm like, yeah, it's a week later. Because some people, it's everybody's individual what they do. That's why I, I kind of, I, what is it? Throw the pasta at the wall and see if any of them stick. Okay, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. And I will probably be live at least for a little while at some point tomorrow, perhaps even walking if that's a possibility. Okay, have the very best day and I will talk to you very, very soon.